What's good, everyone? It's the one and only NY Fina. If you guys enjoy NFL NBA content and want to see some more gaming content, give this video a like. And if you're new, go subscribe to the channel while you have it. Now, let's go let's get into this video. Listen, Bruce Arians, are, are you kidding me, y'all? Really? Really? You really just going to down your quarterback? This is your franchise quarterback. You're just going to throw him under the bus like that? Listen, I got I to gotta say something about Bruce Arians. You lucky that this is not full fire range video? Because I was really thinking about making this video. But I got some grace. Listen. Let's speak about Bruce Arians. You you said in the quote that if I can win games with Jameis Winston, I could win games with pretty much any quarterback. Well, tell me, Bruce Arians, do you think that you could win seven games with the lineup you guys had with Marcus Mariota or Mitchell Trubisky or any of these rookie quarterbacks not named Jim Burrow? Or Justin Herbert. <laughs> you think that you could win games with, with some of these other quarterbacks that's going to be free agents? I think it's pretty disrespectful what Bruce Arians said to James Winston. This is a guy that threw 5,000 yards and 30 touchdowns. 5,000. Listen, excuse me. 5,000 yards. Not that many quarters put up 5,000 yards. He led the league in passing yards. Listen, we can speak about the interceptions all we want. And it seems like, like it seems like I'm the biggest Jameis fan in the world. And yes, I'm a Jameis fan. However, I'm gonna be real. Some of those interceptions just make no sense. This is what Jameis wants to ask. He's just gonna make a lot of no sense interceptions. It is what it is what it is. But like Big Fist says, you can't find five thousand yards off the street. You can't find a quarterback that's to throw five thousand yards off the street. Tell me. Tell me where I can find the quarterback in the NFL to just hop in the NFL and just throw 5,000 yards. This guy, James Winston, has special abilities, man. This guy, James Winston, has talent. And my thing is, Bruce Aarons, you've been backing up James Winston all regular season. You've been backing up. He said that he, he's making winning plays. He's making right, right decisions. He's forcing the ball down the field, and that's how we want to play. Well, tell me, Bruce Aarons, if, if, if that's what he's been doing, he's been doing that all year, why are you upset with him now? Why? Why? He, dude, the fact that Jameis Winston was able to make the Houston Texans game close in Week 16 where he had no Mike Evans and no Chris Godwin just shows you how great Jameis Winston is. He nearly beat the Houston Texans in Week 16 with Brashad Perryman as his best receiver. Just put that in context, man. Just put that in context. He would, you know, listen. Mike Evans and Chris Godwin both had their best years of their career. Jameis was a quarterback. <laughs> Jameis was playing quarterback. I mean, listen, in my opinion, this Bucks team is right there. They're right there to make a jump to be a really a championship contender. All you have to do is build an O-line. Get another serviceable, serviceable um, star running back um, behind Ronald Jones and just place a secondary. And then you got a championship contender team. Just give give the Bucks a secondary, give them a, uh, a better offensive line, and put another running back um, right there with Ronald Jones. And we're talking about contender team. James Wilson has all. All you want of a quarterback. He has confidence. He has uh, elite natural talent. Uh, he's strong. He's tall. He's uh, pretty. Uh, he's you know underrated athletically wise. He can run out the pocket a bit. Uh, he got strong arm. He's pretty accurate. A lot of people don't speak about James with the accuracy. He's actually pretty accurate at times. He's just inconsistent at times. Sometimes he just misses reads. And as you, as the offensive genius, Bruce Arians, you should be able to teach James Winston the, the nuances of being the quarterback and learning the quarterback position. So, you know, overall, Bruce Arians and the Tampa Bay, um, Tampa Bay Buccaneers organization do not get rid of James. Okay, I'm not telling you to pay, give him a max, super max contract. I'm not telling you to give him a five year, $147 million deal. I'm not telling you to pay him like he's car, um, give him the Carson Wentz treatment. I'm just saying, listen, James Winston is a pretty good quarterback. Can, can we at least give him another year? 
can we at least give another year to, you know, tune down the interceptions a bit? Okay, you got like what you see on tape at times. You're going you gonna to love some things you see on tape when it comes to Jameis. You're going to hate some things you see on tape when it comes to Jameis. But he's a leader. And, you know, you really can't replace Jameis. <laughs> I'm going to be real. If you're not, if you're not uh, drafting Jim Burrow or you're not drafting, uh, what's his name, Herbert, who are you going to find to replace Jameis to give you the same level of production? Because I know Marcus Mariota and Mitch Trubisky can't do it. I mean, I'm going to be real. Nobody, there's not that many quarterbacks. Hell, I don't think Tom Brady can come in this system and do what Jameis Winston did. Now, he won't, Tom Brady won't throw 30 interceptions, but he is for, he's as for, he's not putting up 5,000 yards. Tom Brady, <laughs> Tom Brady in 2019 and 2020 is not going to go for 5,000 yards. And, you know, Jameis is going to, he's going to get He's going to become a smarter quarterback throughout time, throughout the years. So just, you know, get Jameis a one- or two-year deal and build a team around him. Give him a better offensive line. Maybe give him an, a, another option down the field. Give him another deep threat besides Mike Evans and Rashad Pyramid. You know, and we'll see how things play out. But overall, Bruce Arians, don't make this mistake. Don't get rid of Jameis because it's not going to end well. If you're not going to draft Jim Burrow, or if you're not going to get Andrew Luck out of retirement, there should be no reason that you're getting rid of Jameis Winston. That's it. That's all. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. I'm the Phenomenal, and I'm out. Deuces.